right, that. I'm having a little organ trio session here today. So I gotta clean this place up and make room for a drum kit and an organ, a, real, a full organ, B3, Leslie, the whole nine. I had full intention of warming up this morning. I've gotten zero chance to do that because other stuff happened. The guys are about to show up, so in lieu of a proper warm up, I'm just gonna get to stretch my hands a little bit. Seems to have come to a close, and I'm not exactly sure of the details. email from a guy named Sam. His name's not really Sam. Here's what he said. I'm a Canadian trombonist. Uh, I make my living playing professionally, freelancing mostly. I've run into constant struggles securing gigs. I'm on time, organized, respond to emails and calls in a timely manner, and of course, practice the music for whatever project, regardless of its potential creative fulfillment. However, I've been fired multiple times despite my effort and commitment to projects and the praise I received from fellow Oh, it's windy. In the most recent case, a similar, similarly skilled trombonist replaced me because he, because the band leader was so impressed with his playing. I had that gig for five years. The noticeable difference between us is that he favors, I guess he, the band leader, favors a lot of flashy, gimmicky language in his blowing. Oh, sorry, the other trombone player favors a lot of flashy, gimmicky language in his blowing, and that's not really my style. Should I be adjusting my playing to impress? or should I continue to play as musically I can, musically as I can? I'm gonna read that last part again. Should I be adjusting my playing to impress, or should I continue to play as musically as I can? Well, I bet you can guess my answer to this one. I'll wait. You should always, always play as musically as you possibly can. Always. First of all, it's a great question and I understand it entirely. I've been there. I know that feeling. It's whenever anybody else seems to get more success or something happens for them that you don't understand why or you wish you had it and, you, and, it, and it drives you crazy when you're like, but that guy doesn't even, that joker doesn't even play as well as I do or, but you can't control that. You cannot control anybody except yourself and your own playing. And at the end of the day, for all of the hard work that it is to play music, to play music well, and, and God knows to play music professionally, if at the end of the day, you don't go to bed knowing that you're playing 
the way that you want to play. And if you're playing some other way to please some other person, you're never going to be satisfied. You're never going to be happy. Uh, it's just not a road to long-term fulfillment or success, in, you know, in my opinion. I know the feeling. I know ex exactly what Sam's talking about here. I've been there. And my experience at this point would just be to say, you got to do you, man. You got to do what you are and who you are. And that's all you can do because you can never be somebody else. That person already exists. And you also can't change that band leader or any band leader's opinion of how somebody else plays. It, there, it's hard, it's hard, I get it, to, to not take that stuff personally, but um, you gotta take the long view and, and say, hey, how do I wanna look back on my own playing? How, what makes me happy? How, what, do I, what am I trying to develop? How do I wanna play? That's all you can control and you can t continue to work on that. But don't change the way that you play play like you because nobody else can do that. So if you don't play like you, you're shortchanging the world of that because you're the only one who can do that. I'm saying this to you, I'm saying it to myself out loud, it's, it is definitely easier said than done, but I really think it's true. Um, so that's my best advice on that subject. And you know, the more sincere you are, man, I, it might not happen right away, but in the long haul, it's gonna serve you absolutely the best. <laughs> so I just found out that Corey Henry, the organist from sometimes Snarky Puppy, uh, is playing a secret show with his own band in downtown Los Angeles tonight. So I am headed to check that out. <laughs> about that idea of playing more. Not practicing less, but playing more. And what is it that happens when you play that doesn't happen when you practice? When you're playing with other musicians, especially when you're playing with other musicians who are, are really good, here's how you know. You know because it's easier. You play better than you're supposed to. When you're playing with not as good players, my experience has been that it will be harder. It'll be more difficult. You won't, it will, You'll, everything will feel heavy and forced. When you're playing with good players, everything feels light and buoyant and easy, and you you surprise yourself like, wow, I didn't know I could, I didn't know I was able to to play this well. To me, that's not an indication that I am doing better as a musician or practicing more or somehow doing better. It's an indication that I'm uh, at that moment playing with musicians who are better and lift me up and make me play better. The moral of the story is try to be the worst one in the room. If you can try to be the worst one in the room at any given time, you're on a good path. Just to clarify, I don't mean play poorly or play bad. I just mean try to play with musicians who are better than you and that will make you better. <laughs>